What's happening guys? Welcome back into the Drum Central YouTube channel. Today we've got an absolutely awesome Larnell Lewis lick, so please grab the PDF below and let's get started. So if you look at your PDF, you'll see that we've got a triplet based groove. It's very African influenced, it's got some beautiful tom melodies and as always Larnell pushes it way beyond the scope of what you'd normally think to do. It's quite simple in terms of what the notes are, but that doesn't mean it's easy. So we're going to start with four on the floor on both our left foot and our bass drum. So that's going to do on the one, the two, the three and the four of the triplet. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. We then play the trip of every beat on the bell of the right cymbal, but you could use a cowbell or the rim, sounds quite nice. Which means that it's quite an unusual offbeat kind of rhythm and it's quite a coordination challenge. So make sure that you do count out loud. So the right hand is going to go on the trip of every beat while our feet are playing on the one, two, three and four. Together that sounds like this. Simple so far. And now we've got a left hand melody that Larnell takes and orchestrates around the toms. In beat one, we're going to play on the let as a ghost note on the snare. So we're going to have one trip let. We're then going to play up here on the second tom the trip of beat two, which will be in unison with the bell, which sounds like this. Two trip. We're then going to play, again, the orchestration can change. We're going to play three trip lit with our left hand, which means that the trip of three is in the in the middle. So it's three trip lit. Sounds like this. And then we're going to play trip lit of four. Four trip lit. Like this. But on the floor tom, he sometimes does it up on the first tom. Sounds like this. The whole thing together with no metronome sounds like this. Now let's try it nice and slow at a tempo of 70 beats a minute. Now let's try it a touch faster at 100 beats a minute. And finally up to full speed of 130 which is where this thing starts to really flow really nicely. It's actually quite satisfying when you get that thing flowing and the hands are actually doing the right thing, which took me a little while. So please explore different orchestrations, different places for both your right hand and your left hand. Have some fun, see how far you can push this. If you like this lesson, please do hit subscribe and head on through to the Drum Central website. I'll catch you next time.